It's time for Tales of Terror, only on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. You are listening to Audio Drama in a Darker Shade at darkerprojects.com. And now our feature presentation. You are in a land away from sunlight. You are in a land of darkness and fear. Somewhere between waking and sleeping are night terrors. Night Terrors, an anthology of horror and suspense. Tonight's episode, The House and the Clock, written by Paul Mannering. Hey guys, I'm Ryan. Mark and David, right? No, I'm Mark. No, he's David. I'm Mark. My name is John. I don't know where Mark is. John is our other brother. Mom calls him Mark because she hasn't been the same since our dad went to prison. Yeah, broke out once, came back and murdered our babysitter. Stabbed the babysitter like a million times. Meet the Chapman family. Mrs. Chapman, her twins, David and Katie, and her youngest son, Mark. They've just bought an old house with a lot of history. There are things undiscovered in this house, and in one room... Well, why spoil the surprise? Let's listen to the tale of the house and the clock. Katie, quit yelling. I'm on the phone. Yeah, the house is great. I can't believe how cheap we got it. I mean, after Charles left, I really didn't know where we were going to live. Oh, yes, Mark and the twins are settling in just fine. Will you make pancakes for breakfast? Katie, I am on the phone. You get dressed. Hey, Mom. Katie wants pancakes for breakfast. Mom? Sorry, Jeannie. I'm going to have to call you later. Yeah, you have a great weekend. Bye now. Yes, Mark, honey. Pancakes are on the menu for breakfast. Now go use the bathroom, get dressed, and then you can help me mix the batter. Mom, why is everyone shouting? Morning, David. No one is shouting. You go use the bathroom after Mark and then get dressed. I'm making pancakes for breakfast. I gotta pee. Well, go on then.
Now you guys remember, I'm going to be out this evening. You're going to have a babysitter. Mom. No arguments. I'm not leaving you in charge. Daddy did. Your dad left us and moved to California. I wish we lived in California. I don't. Get the pancake mix out of the cupboard. My friend Michelle, she went to stay with her dad over the summer. He lives in Ohio. She said it was really lame. California would be boring too. Nuh-uh. There's Disneyland and the beach and Hollywood and zoos and stuff. We have a zoo here, Katie. Not like in San Diego. My friend Tina, she went to the San Diego Zoo with her parents and said it was cool. David, how you doing? Mom, the pewter isn't working. You know you're not supposed to touch it without Mom's permission. Mom, David broke the computer. I didn't do it. Katie, leave your brother alone. Mark, help me mix the pancake batter. Mom, the stove won't light. Well, you're not doing it right. I am too. Well, we can have cereal instead. I don't want cereal. Yeah, cereal is boogers. Cereal? Ugh. I want to go home. Katie, this is our home. The old house has been sold. It has a new family living in it now. I bet they're having pancakes for breakfast. Okay, everyone in the car. We can go out for breakfast. I got the front seat. Where's my hat? Mom, I want tacos. Not for breakfast, honey. Okay, now the babysitter is going to be here soon. He comes highly recommended, so you guys need to behave for him, okay? He? You got us a guy babysitter? Yes, Katie. His name is Ryan. Mom, you can't do this to me. Katie, he is on his way. I have to leave soon. It will be fine. Oh my god, he will think I'm such a loser. What if he knows someone at my new school? What if he tells them I'm a loser who needs a babysitter? Katie, he isn't going to care. You're only 12 years old, for Christ's sakes. He probably babysits a lot of kids your age. You think? I'm sure of it. Besides, he might be cute. Mom! Mark! David! You guys get into your PJs, please. I have to get changed. He can't see me like this. <sighs> Whatever, Katie. That will be Ryan. Oh, no. Hi, you must be Ryan. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for coming tonight. We haven't been here very long, and I have to go to a meeting tonight. Hey, no problem. I've got some work to do. We'll be fine. Great. There is a full list of contact numbers on the counter. Uh, my cell, the grandparents' home number, my sister's contact number. Um, there's some snacks, and no soda, please. Of course. Oh, look at the time. Kids, come on out here. Ryan, this is David and Mark. Boys, this is Ryan. He will be your babysitter tonight. I have to go, but Katie is around here somewhere. Bedtime is 8.30. Mom, Mom. That's way too early. No arguments. Katie, I'm going now. Ryan is here. Okay, I'll be back by 11 at the latest. Bye, Mom. Bye. Hey, guys, I'm Ryan. Mark and David, right? No, I'm Mark. No, he's David. I'm Mark. My name is John. I don't know where Mark is. John is our other brother. Mom calls him Mark because she hasn't been the same since our dad went to prison. Yeah, broke out once, came back and murdered our babysitter. Stabbed the babysitter like a million times. Sounds like a fun time. You guys want to watch TV or what till bedtime? Mom is only kidding about the bedtime. It's something she does. It's a joke. Well, guys, here's how it works. I've been babysitting for a while now, and I think I've heard every story and excuse and switcheroo anyone's ever heard of. So here's what's going to happen. TV or bed. At 8.30, by my watch, you go to bed. You don't get up again for a drink of water or the bathroom or even if you're sure there's something in the closet. Dude, you're good. Mom said you were good. That's why she hired you. Yeah, where's your sister? I don't know. She's around somewhere. Well, go and find her.
I want to play on the computer. Internet or games? Games. Okay, but I want to know what games you're playing. Do you know anything about computers? Sure. David broke ours. Well, how are you going to play games if the computer's busted? You could fix it. Uh, okay, maybe later. We need to find out where your brother and sister are. They're twins, you know. Are they? Yeah, but I can tell them part. Come on, guys, quit fooling around. Katie, David, cut it out. Mama kicked your butts when she gets home. Sounds like they're in the attic. Let's go up and find them. I haven't been up there. They only moved in yesterday. This is old house is kind of creepy. No one's lived here since the 60s. The last family, well, they moved out in the middle of the night. No one saw them leave. They just left everything and disappeared. Did. Did they come back? Nope. Never seen again. The stairs up to the attic. You want to wait here? Uh, sure. A lot of junk up there. Some of this stuff must be really old. Keep the light on down there so I can see. Hey, turn that light back on. It's really dark up here. I didn't do it. I didn't touch the light switch. It just went off by itself. I'm coming down. Ow! Katie, is that you? Leave us now. Katie, quit messing around. Mom's going to be really pissed at you. Katie, is that you? Could someone please turn on the light in the hallway? Ryan, Ryan, hurry up. Katie's being weird. She's gone. Katie, where are you? Okay, that wasn't cool, Mark. I thought I heard your sister. Where'd she go? She was here. Right here. She was all... She was all weird, though. Hair over her face, pointing and saying stuff. Okay, Katie. David, come out right now. <laughs> I don't like this house. It's just a big old house, Mark. Your brother and sister are just jerking you around. Uh-huh. I know Katie, and she's more scared of the dark than I am. Katie? David? You guys? Why are there so many sheets in here? They cover furniture with them. It, it keeps the dust off the chairs and stuff. I bet your sheets sure get dirty. David, you in here? Me and Mark are gonna call out for pizza and have some sodas. You guys want some? Hey! Mom said we can't have some! Shh. It's under the sheets. It's just an old clock, Mark. The vibration will have made it start ticking. I, we have to find Katie and David. I want to see the clock. Fine, but don't leave this room, okay? Wow, this is so cool. A clock with the door on it. It's a magic doorway. Like that wardrobe. I can see our house. Mark? Mark, what was that yelling about? Mark, I, I told you to stay in here. Where are you? Who are you? Ah! Oh, 
You gave me a fright. I'm Ryan. You must be Katie? Katie, yes. I'm Katie. Why are you here, Ryan? I'm your babysitter. <laughs> What's so funny? It's been a long time since I had a babysitter. Whatever. This game is going to stop. Where's your brother? My brother. David? Oh, yes. My brother David. He is close. And Mark? Mark? Mark is having a time out. Have you guys locked him in one of these rooms? There are many rooms in this house, and many more inside. I am David. This is my sister Katie. We are twins. Jesus, don't creep up on me like that. Yeah, I got that you're twins. Your brother Mark told me. And you are... I'm Ryan. I'm your babysitter, and I've had enough of this crap. You all need to get downstairs now. Very well. Come on, David. Let's go downstairs. Of course. Downstairs. David, where's Mark? He's somewhere in the house. Well, he'd better hurry up and come out. Only time will tell. Speaking of telling, I'm so going to be telling your mom about this. Mom? Ma, at last. Mark? You guys can watch TV if you want. Yes. Gunsmoke should be on tonight. I would rather watch Flipper. Yeah, maybe on some dead rerun show channel. Can I have some milk? Yes, milk and tricks. Tricks, tricks are, are for, for kids. kids. That's so lame. It's not. Tricks Rabbit is groovy. Yeah, maybe 40 years ago. I would like some milk and tricks. I would like some tricks and milk. Whatever. Mark said you broke the computer, David. What'd you do to it? What computer? Like on Lost in Space? Enough of this freak show. Mark! Come down here, Mark! There you are. Did they lock you in one of these rooms upstairs? I was in the house. In the clock. In the house. Are you okay, Mark? Mark. Yes, I am, Mark. David and Katie are my brother and sister. Yeah, they're twins, but you can tell them apart. Of course I can. Guess you don't have your cable hooked up yet. All the cables are plugged in. It just takes time to warm up. Welcome back, little brother. I'm Mark. I'm Katie, and this is David. Welcome back. Mrs. Chapman. Oh, uh, yes, Ms. Clark? Please call me Ramona. Okay, Ramona. It seems strange calling a teacher by their first name. Well, unless you're in the sixth grade. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure the children will do well here. You seem to have a great school. We do what we can. Federal funding is always a problem. But we have a dedicated team of teachers who give 110%. I appreciate that. Honestly, with the new house and the move across the city, a new school was looking like a total nightmare. Well, we try to make only your good dreams come true. I don't believe I got your first name. Mrs. Chapman is fine. Uh, yes, of course. You moved recently, Mrs. Chapman? Yes, we bought the old house on Rogers Street. You moved into the old... Winchester Place? I guess. A two-story house, wooden exterior. There's an oak tree in the front yard. Are you okay, Ms. Clark? Uh, I'm fine. You have three children, Mrs. Chapman? Yes, well, you know that. Katie and David and Mark, he's the youngest. Uh, the Winchester house has not been successfully occupied since... The Truman family vanished within its walls in 1966. My father was a police officer, and he was one of the search party. They found some blood around an old grandfather clock, and no bodies were ever found. Well, that's an interesting story, Ms. Clark, but... I'm not finished, Mrs. Chapman. Daniel Truman was killed in Korea. Mrs. Truman raised the children on her own. She had three children, Mrs. Chapman, fraternal twins, a boy, a girl, and a younger son. Coincidence. Possibly. I hope so. All I know for sure is what my father told me. There is something terribly wrong with that house, Mrs. Chapman. 
something that destroys lives. Other families have tried to live there. Never with the right combination, though. Don't you see? Something in that house drove everyone who tried to live there away. It has been waiting, Mrs. Chapman. Waiting just for the right people to move in. This is crazy, Ms. Clark. Yeah. I'm not interested in hearing your ghost stories. It's not a story, Mrs. Chapman. I'm trying to warn you. Go home, gather your children, and get out of that house. Time is running out, Ryan. Time is short. I can't believe I let them talk me into playing hide and seek. Well, at least I should tire him out. What's that smell? Something dead. It stinks. What is that light? A house? Ah! 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 We really are too old for babysitters. I'm sure he will be fine. The children in the house will need a babysitter. Katie! David! Are you okay? Where's Mark? Hey, Mom. We're fine. Just great, Mom. Where's Mark? He's upstairs. He is showing Ryan a really groovy grandfather clock we found. You should see it, Mom. It's a real antique. Yeah, Mom. Come and check it out. Then we can be a family again. Okay. Just give me a minute to get my coat off. <laughs> Mom, we have all the time there is. Seems the Chapmans were only house guests, but now the guests have become the hosts. The Trumans have returned, and with a little time, I'm sure everything in the house will be running like clockwork. <laughs> You have been listening to Night Terrors, The House and the Clock, written by Paul Mannering. Original music composed and performed by Kai Hartwig and Kevin McLeod. Featured in the cast were Eleanor Price as Katie, Victoria Sampson as Mrs. Chapman, Jacob Jonas as Mark, John Lipsy as David, Derek Allerud as Ryan, and Linda Townsend as Ramona Clark. The series was produced and directed by Mark Brzee. Co-production by Chris Snyder. Post-production by Matt McLaren. The executive producer for Darker Projects is Eric Busby. This has been a Darker Projects production. So until next time, sleep well. Chauncey Haworth, Mark Slade, and Lothar Tuppen, the demented minds behind the Twisted Pulp Radio Hour, bring you... Twisted Pulp Magazine. A journey beyond surreality to worlds you never knew or hoped existed. Worlds of the supernatural. Worlds of dark satire. Worlds of nightmarish futures. Twisted Pulp Magazine. If you thought the 21st century was weird enough already, think again. Twisted Pulp Magazine. A step beyond your grandfather's pulp. Available at digitalvaudeville.com. That's D I G I T A L V A U D E V I L L E.com. Mm-hmm.